With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is asking that the enthalpy of neutralizations of HCl and NaOH is given as minus 55.5.9 kilojoule and that of HCN and by NaOH is given minus 12.1 kilojoule per mole. The enthalpy of ionization of HCN is basically first of all what will be the enthalpy of neutralization when the one mole of acid HCl and NaOH. So both of the strong acid are strong base so that will dissociate completely in aqueous solution and when one mole of water will be formed from this strong acid strong base the enthalpy released is known as enthalpy of neutralization and that is given as minus 55.9. Now this can be written as as well like this H positive is reacting with OH negative to form this water molecules because this NHL nothing to do, uh, do with this NHL mainly this one is when this H positive OH negative forming this covalent bond because here ionic bond is present so that will be neutralized so overall this will be the scenario so here this value is 55.9 now when we are taking this weak acid HCN is a weak acid and this NaOH so NaOH is a strong acid uh, a strong base so one mole of this uh, basically we can say NaCN and one mole of water is formed. So that heat release will be less than the previous one because here this HCN will not completely break. So we have to break that NaCN, uh, HCN and to break the HCN we need some kind of energy and that is called as enthalpy of ionization that is asking this question. Now here that is value is given as minus 12.1 means when this HCN and NaOH is neutralizing itself so that means that much of heat is releasing. Now to convert to break all this HCN into a H positive and CN negative ion we need some kind of energy and that is called as enthalpy of ionization. Enthalpy of ionization is delta H I let's suppose. And this NaOH, NaOH directly it will be break in Na positive and OH negative directly without any energy. Now when this H positive and OH negative is combined to form this one mole of water so it will release already given here minus 55.9 kilojoule of heat. Now use a hash law. What is hash law? Has law is whether reaction whether the reaction is taking place in the single step or multiple step the enthalpy change is same. So we can say that this enthalpy change by this step means delta H i minus of 55.9 will be equal to how much enthalpy change in the single step that is minus 12.1. So basically we have to subtract this value 55.9 that will be that becomes positive after taking the right hand side and that is subtracted by 12 point how much 1. So this value is basically 33.8. So enthalpy of ionization will be equals to 55.9 minus 12.1. So this value is coming out to be 43.8 kilojoule in positive sign. So that means option B is the right answer. So I hope you understand this concept. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.